Hello, I'm Mark from St John's Church and also leading the vision planning for the churches in Southall and North Hounslow. It's good to be with you today. In our reading from Luke chapter 4, Jesus is full of the Holy Spirit, not in a vacuum, but after 30 years of quiet living and working, asking difficult questions in children's ministry, and also praying to God, praying to his Father, and then testing out his call in the wilderness, tempted beyond measure, and yet perfect and not giving in. Jesus, full of the Spirit, himself is tempted. Tempted to misuse his power, tempted to go his own way, tempted to do his own thing, and yet faithful always. And so, full of the Holy Spirit, he enters Galilee and starts teaching in the synagogues. One Sabbath, Jesus went to his hometown synagogue in Nazareth, stood up and read from scripture. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Those words from the prophet Isaiah talked about the power that Jesus had as Messiah. Everyone was staring at him as he sat down and said these words. Today, this word has been fulfilled in your hearing. The promise of God to his people in the Old Testament had been fulfilled in Jesus. So what has Jesus been anointed to do? He's been anointed to proclaim good news to the poor, recovery of sight to the blind, freedom to the prisoners, to set the oppressed free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. What do you notice? It's not just about the liberation of the spirit, but of the mind, the body and the community too. That's because the kingdom of God is here. That's what Jesus told us. It's emerging even here in Southall right now, not just when we pray and when we praise and when we worship, but when we act in the name of Jesus. What about the year of the Lord's favour, that Jubilee year that's mentioned in Leviticus, the one year in every 50 when debts are forgiven, when people are liberated from slavery. What does that mean for us now? What does that mean for Southall? What would it mean for us to see people freed? Freed from what? What would it mean for people to be healed? What would they be healed of? What would it mean for people to be reconciled? To who would they be reconciled? And what would it look like to see a community transformed? I want to suggest three ways for us as churches across Southall and North Hounslow. First of all, what about the environmental impact of all that we do, both in our homes and also in our churches? What could we do to make a difference? Secondly, what about our involvement in our communities? All of us are engaged somehow, but I wonder if we could coordinate that. I wonder if we could get everyone to be actively praying, giving, and doing at least one act of service. It could be helping to clean our streets up. 
It could be serving at the food bank or food hub. It could be helping at Hope for South or Street Homeless. It could be that we are called to create a new way of responding to needs in our community. And thirdly, some of you will be pioneers, people with great creative ideas. You may be thinking, I know that there's a need in our community and I've got an idea about how we could face and enable and serve. Answers on a postcard to your vicar, please. And may God bless you as we are anointed by God, called by God to make an impact in this amazing place that God has called us to be. Southall. Amen.